Hello everyone. My today's guest of honor, Professor M. Abdul Rahman, is a proud son of Kasargod, who has adorned many prestigious positions in his career till now. An eminent academician and able administrator, he is the director of LBS Center for Science and Technology. He was the managing director of Kerala State Center for Advanced Printing and Training. He served as the first pro vice chancellor of APG Abdul Kalam. Technological University, KTU, Kerala. He was the former director, All India Council for Technical Education, AICTE, the FX body of technical education under Ministry of Human Resource Development, Government of India, which regulates engineering, management, architecture, hotel management, and pharmacy institutions of the country. He also served as director, vocational higher secondary education, Government of Kerala. He received his PhD degree in computer science and engineering from Karpagam University. He obtained his MTech from Kerala University in 2004 and BTech from LBS College of Engineering, Kasa in 1997. He achieved postgraduate diploma in human resource management from Kerala University in 2006 and Master of Business Administration MBA in 2008. Hello, sir. It is a great pleasure to talk to you. Thank you, Ms. Paisa. So without further ado, let me start. As a child, what was your ambition? Mm -hmm. uh, hmm. So uh, normally, uh, I, uh, because I uh, mm -hmm. born and brought up in a village and uh, in a, that uh, I, I don't have much uh, ambitions and aims in those life. When I uh, grown up, uh, when I grown up and all those things, when I uh, went to the school and uh, when go to the college, went to the college and pre degree. So I have an ambition to become a civil servant. Okay. So that was my uh, first ambition. Okay, sir. Being an engineer, what inspired your decision to start your professional life as a lecturer? Uh, so that was a very good question. Uh, actually, uh, I got into the academic uh, position. What presently uh, going on is is uh, really an accident. Okay. Uh, initially, so that was a boom of uh, beginning of uh, the computer science, uh, uh, computer science, and those time when I completed the BTEC degree. So uh, normally, every uh, person would like to go. Uh, pursue a career in the industry as well as a software industry. The software industry was booming at that time and computer science, it is booming also that time. Mm -hmm. So I also thought of going to the software industry or so I would like to work in the Bangalore in the metropolitan cities on those like. But, but as you know, I studied in uh, uh, LBS College of Engineering, Kasaragod. As you know, Kasaragod is, is a backward area. It is yet to be developed. So uh, it's in educationally and oh, every in, in every area still uh, Kasaragod is backward. So that backwardness affected uh, uh, in the uh, that uh, campus recruitments also. So uh, we don't have when uh, when I completed when I was in the final year of BTEC degree, uh, there were no companies coming to my college, especially due to the uh, geographical area of Kasaragod. So uh, there were no companies visited at the institute, so I could not uh, get into an opportunity for uh, the software career. And uh, after the completion of the degree, uh, uh, my institute, the LBS College of Engineering, invited for guest lectures. So there is a death, a death of uh, teaching faculty in those times. So when uh, uh, and my principal and my HODs asked me to come and teach uh, my juniors and all those things, then accidentally I went there and got selected into uh, those uh, areas. That is what how I got into uh, academic areas and teaching profession. Okay, sir. Have you ever felt that this was not the path you should have taken in life? No, 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 no. Now I uh, now I am very much confident that uh, this is actually my area I have to uh, go, go through and all those things. Uh, as I said, initially, uh, even, even if I uh, came to this position accidentally, but when I uh, came to this, uh, when I take the, uh, the career as my academician or go to a lecturer, so I worked hard. Uh, very sincerely and, uh, and try to teach the students uh, very sincerely then I enjoyed that profession uh, very uh, very much with a great 
pleasure and all those things. Because so we always say that a mother only gives birth to a child, and it is the teacher who uh, molds him or as a responsible citizen who is doing for the society. So normally, even if we have uh, so uh, if we, when we approach the teacher and all those things, so the teacher can understand a, uh, that a student's uh, issues and all those things. The student will disclose everything to a teacher, so even if she if she can't disclose to your parents that can be disclosed to a teacher itself so the teaching is a very a great profession so we are molding uh, our young uh, citizens as a responsible uh, persons now uh, my uh, that children are there my students are there in everywhere and, uh, so even if you look at the civil service field even if you look at the corporate field in anywhere and everywhere in the world uh, our students are there so that is a great pleasure and when i got into uh, this uh, teaching field i'm enjoying right now it and i think that uh, so this is the right area have come through okay sir if not this path in life what would you have been yeah <laughs> that is also a good question as you know every kasaragodian so they are uh, uh, moving into the gulf areas after their initial education and, and all those things so after this uh, completing before completing the school education or college education they immediately move on to mm -hmm. uh, the business and other kind of field normally uh, they uh, the most of them opt Uh, the Gulf countries. So, if I would not have opted this, uh, similar to other, uh, I, I would have, have uh, opted the Gulf countries and would be in those business or something like that areas. Okay, sir. Among all the positions you have served, which one did you find the most satisfying and the most challenging? Yeah, uh, so I worked in many positions, including central government, state government, industry, and all those things. Among those, the most challenging and interesting. Uh, a uh, task was when uh, i hold the post of pro vice chancellor of apj abdul kalam university that is uh, that uh, previously it was a kerala technological university so it it was in the beginning form uh, so we set up that university from the scratch there was uh, nothing was there so uh, it has a jurisdiction all over kerala and we have around 145 engineering colleges to affiliate and we have to conduct the exams for that and uh, admit the students so it was a very herculean task and uh, we uh, made it and we built that university from the scratch and that was really uh, a challenging task and mm -hmm. uh, we have made uh, we have brought a lot of changes into the uh, that technical education field especially in the in that administration academic and all those areas so that was a really challenging task and i got a lot of brickbats as well as buckets in uh, those times uh, so a lot of oppositions were there because uh, there were a lot of new things was introduced which uh, initially the kerala people would not like so that was a very challenging task and i enjoyed uh, with and i think that uh, so that uh, that kind of changes as now uh, the students are enjoying uh, that whatever the changes we have uh, started in ktu okay sir if i ask you to describe yourself in a single word word which word would that be yeah uh, it's none other than sincere and hard working okay What is your definition of success? Yeah, success. <laughs> it's a, a very good question, and uh, we can answer in a single word about what is a success and, and all those things. So uh, there is no shortcut to success. So success is uh, always we have to work hard, we have to be very very sincere, and we have to aim something to be reached there. Okay, so uh, there is no shortcut for uh, success and all those things. In order to achieve uh, our aim, in order to reach our point, uh, we should uh, go through in a very uh, difficult way. Okay, even if we go in a difficult way, finally, really, uh, we will find uh, the destination itself. So, uh, in order to uh, get the success, uh, really, uh, we have to work hard and we should be very sincere also. So that is what uh, the way to success. Okay, sir. If you were given a chance to start again, what would you have done differently? Yeah, differently means. Uh, um, so uh, actually, I would like to. Uh, I have everything in mind that. Uh, so I always uh, wanted to help uh, those people in needy. So th those there are a lot of people in the society you know, who are suffering a lot. So we have this kind of education right now. We are sitting in this kind of position, and you also are studying in a very good school and all those things. There are a lot of children who could not even go to the school. They don't have that facility. They don't have that background. So. 
if i get a chance um, i would oh. uh, really uh, devote my life to work for those kind of people and try to i am right now trying my level best to make them uh, helping uh, some of them but uh, if i get a chance i would fully devote uh, for the working of the downtrodden people and uh, render my support to help those in need okay sir who inspired you the most in life yeah that means uh, so th- there are my parents uh, my teachers are there so, uh, if we say uh, say that there were a lot of uh, many to name it as okay my parents are there my family is there they are there and my teachers are there and even my uh, students they are also inspired me to reach to this position okay sir do you consider yourself lucky definitely i'm very lucky i'm very lucky uh, so god has gifted me uh, these kind of positions and really i'm very lucky and i would like to mention that uh, i've already mentioned that i am born and brought up in a village so in in my the, those days when uh, i was a student of engineering when i was a student of pre degree uh, up to engineering so, yeah, so i studied uh, in a house where there were no electricity now can you imagine uh, that right now it is not possible at all so uh, so i so in from that scratch uh so there are developments are there now i have become uh, so i have become the director of lps uh, center where i have studied uh, in uh, an institution under this uh, co- uh, lps center so lps college of engineering was the, an institution under lps center i was a student uh, there in that college i was a first batch student in that engineering college then i became the lecturer of that college now i become the head of the institution of uh, that uh, center which is managing right now so really uh, i feel that i'm lucky uh, i'm much grateful to the god and all who supported me to reach here okay sir where do you see yourself in 10 years yeah definitely i will be in this academic field itself so as as i said uh, so we uh, we can develop a society so that is doing something for the society so that is uh, every teacher can do so i will be in this uh, year, in this academic field itself in the next whatever be the coming ne- next next years i will be in this field uh, to give uh, to develop a new uh, type of education and a skilled society uh, for for the uh, future uh, world and the future okay sir how important is family in your busy life definitely so family is an inevit- inevitable part of uh, part of part to me so wherever i am i always uh, think about my family my uh, wife is there dr neetu sona she is in she is a civil servant by profession she is a doctor now she is in civil service and i have a kid uh, mariam she is in the fourth class right now uh, and i have uh, my mother and mm-hmm. all others are uh, around with me i'm always with them whenever i get a time i uh, i usually spend much of the time uh, with them so uh, i'm trying to manage both so uh, official uh, life as well as a family life without family uh, there is no life okay so sh- we should manage both uh, family as well as our official life so that is what my advice to you also whenever you grow up and all those things so family is an important so that is what we are uh, living and we are doing this kind of all the things so uh, i'm very happy with my family and they are always supporting me to Uh, grow uh, to the further and future okay sir throughout your career you have got the chance to meet so many people can you share an unforgettable meeting definitely definitely so uh, the, uh, so there is uh, uh, there is no second to mention a particular person because i have uh, uh, who has inspired me so i i got a chance to meet our uh, former uh president of india and the great missile man dr apj abdul kalam uh, so here yeah, so that was a great moment for me when i was a director of vocational higher secondary uh, education uh, I, i i hosted a program uh, known as siddhi 2020 which is a, a skill based program so that is to aim to develop the students the, uh, the, uh, to bring the students into the skill based education so dr apj abdul kalam uh, was the uh chief guest for that function so uh, i still remember that was in uh, 2012 i still remember uh, his words whatever his advice given to me so i got a chance to interact with him very very long and so i really uh, think that that was 
the really great and pleasure moment in my life and i will never forget that which was the last book you have read yeah and normally um, <laughs> i uh, usually read less books but uh, would uh, try to read more and more books uh, the last book i read was uh, i am malala so uh, i i am very happy uh, actually i am interested in those uh, reading also because it uh, tells about the um, uh, the girls education to strengthen the girls education how she fought uh, in those days and what happened to her in this life so it was really uh, so every everyone especially a, a girl or a girl has to read that books so that was really uh, a very good book so we should do something for the uh, education of the girl uh, uh, girl childs so so uh, we say that if a uh, the woman is educated the entire society is educated so uh, so that was a very good book i read okay sir as a person who who has started from scratch what would you like to tell the younger generation see uh, now uh, the world is very uh, very very competitive we are living in a world uh, the technology has become so pervasive that it is difficult to identify any area which is not influenced by it wherever you go you can see the effect of technology without technology you cannot move a little further so now the machines are rolling us okay actually so we uh, the man uh, uh, the, the machines are made by the man but that m- m- machines are having much intelligence than man so artificial intelligence data analytics and uh, this all this kind of stuff, things are rolling uh, the world so in order to overcome uh, uh, this machines we should be more equipped so having a, a degree alone will not help us at all so that is what my advice to the younger generation so don't uh, learn only to pass in a particular subject so we we should have skill so whenever we are studying a particular subject or a particular theorem we should know wh- what is the use where it is used how that can be used in the uh, common life and all those things. so we should be equipped with a skill and uh, education then only we can uh, 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 success in uh, then only we will get success in your future future life okay sir thank and you also, so much and one more thing to mention is that uh, we should be very sincere and hard working so that is what uh, basically it is also needed and we should keep uh, certain values there are certain moral values that is what the present generation is lacking so we should concentrate concentrate on that hard work sincerity and moral values also okay sir thank you so much for sparing some of your valuable time from your busy schedule to answer my questions it was indeed an honor to have you here uh, thank you faisa really i wish uh, every success to you uh, and your friends and your uh, school and all those things especially uh, uh, the season greetings are coming so i wish uh, a very happy christmas and a new year to you uh, and your friends and your school and i hope that uh, you will come up with a school after the school and i can see, uh, come up with great uh, colors and all those things. i i hope that i can see you in future in in great positions and i thank wish you. all the success thank you thank you thank you so much sir